Turning now to the 2016 race, the three latest GOP presidential candidates to enter the race, former Hewlett Pal uh, Packard CEO Carly Fiorina, retired neurosurgeon Dr. Ben Carson, and former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee all appeared on the Sunday talk shows over the weekend. Their appearances might not have gone quite as they planned. Let's talk about it with our media panel today. Alan Colmes is the host of The Alan Colmes Show, nationally syndicated by Fox News Radio. Tammy Bruce is also a radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor. Let's start by playing a bit of Dr. Ben Carson's appearance uh, with Chris Wallace, and then we'll get your thoughts on that. Here it is. Here's what you said about Obamacare. Uh, Obamacare is really, I think, the worst thing that has happened in this nation since slavery. And it is, in a way, it is slavery. The worst thing since slavery? Well, you have to understand uh, what I'm talking about. You know, Obamacare fundamentally changes the relationship between the people and the government. The government is supposed to respond to the will of the people, not dictate to the people what they are doing. So what's wrong with that, Alan? Everything. <laughs> what's wrong with that? Comparing it to, don't ever touch me. <laughs> um, comparing it to Obamacare. He also said mm -hmm. at one point that Obamacare was worse than 911, 9-11. Uh, and then the next day he said, well, no, I never said that. Uh, he compared the United States, said the United States is Nazi Germany. He also, uh, this happened yesterday, I think, with Chris Wallace, mm. didn't quite understand Marbury versus Madison and the issue of judicial review, that we have a separation of powers. He is not qualified to be president of the United States with this lack of understanding of these basic precepts. He has no business running for the White House. Well, he also said when he announced that he would be running for the White House, Tammy, he said, look, I'm, you know, I'm not a professional politician. I'm going to make some mistakes, and the pundits are going to make fun of me for it. Well, look, and this is what's great about the primary season. He's got a compelling personal story. He I does. think he is a, a role model for so many and inspiring for so many, but uh, it's not just about not having experience. Uh, we, we know about judicial review. Uh, the average person you know, who's watching this program understands certain dynamics. And I think that this is what's great about the interviews, is that the American people are going to be able to come to their own conclusions, yeah. many of whom will be like Alan's conclusion, about whether or not someone can be president. It doesn't mean that they can't have a role in making the nation better necessarily in some fashion. Well, that's true. But there's, but there's some things for the presidency uh, that are required, like an understanding of the nuances and the dynamic this of how this nation the runs. Yeah. Then there's Carly Fiorina, the former Hewlett Packard CEO, who also was on the Sunday shows this weekend. Watch. Why did HP's board fire you? And why on the day that you, they did, the stock went up nearly 7%? Well, they did fire me. I've been very open about that. I was fired in a boardroom brawl. We had board members who were leaking information out of the boardroom. You know, the truth is this. It is a leader's job to challenge the status quo. And when you do, you make enemies. It has been pointed out, Alan, uh, that there is a long list of successful entrepreneurs who got fired. Steve Jobs, Mike Bloomberg, Mark Cuban, J.K. Rowling, Walt yeah. Disney, Oprah Winfrey, but Jerry they, Seinfeld, they and the all list came goes back on and, and on. became great successes. Steve mm. Jobs came back and ran Apple in, in a beautiful way. I mean, and, you, and, yes. and apparently when Steve uh, Jobs is, got fired, the, the stock uh, But what has she done to redeem well. herself since Sheila Packard losing a Senate race in California? She was $500,000 in debt for five years and didn't pay it back until this January when it turned out she wanted to run for president. That's got to come up. And the media, by the way, has done very little coverage of that. This woman was unable to balance the books when she ran for uh, Senate in California and, and didn't pay even, people back and ran into incredible debt. And you debt. know what's even more awful is when you forget $100 million in your tax returns. Ooh, boy. Yeah, I mean, let's get a perspective here about who's out there. Carly Fiorina has answered hundreds of questions. Hillary, I think, has answered four. This is a woman who's not afraid. She is also impressing people, unlike you know, some of the other candidates. She's never held public office, neither has Ben Carson. She is a perfect example of someone who can handle the information, who can handle the media, and is impressing people as a result. And your point about Steve Jobs is right. Look, when you're out there in the field, uh, you're going to have ups and downs. You're going to get fired. You're going to get the hired. Up? You're not going to have a. <laughs> Where's the up? Uh, uh, well, I'll tell you, the up is the fact that this is a woman who's going to continue to have an impact on this country, okay, and I think maybe. is a legitimate 
presidential candidate, and she's continuing to prove she's that. She's not a legitimate presidential of candidate. Of course she is. And in fact, I think somebody on the Monday Morning Show said if she weren't a woman, she wouldn't well, be uh, the candidate. Well, the chattering least, class, or we're going to have the chattering mm -hmm. class decide. At least you got handed to her. She's willing to go on the on the Sunday Morning Shows, which Hillary Clinton hasn't done. I still haven't heard at a least, justification, though, for exactly why she got fired, what did she do, why the stock price went down, and why she was $500,000 in debt. I don't hear an answer to those questions. We will continue to watch all of these topics and more with our media panel. Alan Combs, Demi Bruce, thank you both. Thank you. Jenna.